the time. And I really did not know exactly what to expect, but I know as a mom what Zoe has been able to achieve with some of her kids. So I was really excited. First time I ever met her was at her son's Eagle Scout ceremony. Um, and I just saw the amazing amount of support that um, she has given to her children. And when she said she wanted to do that for the children of Irving, I was so excited. We have a great community. How many of you in this room actually live in Irving? Okay, so the, the vast majority of you live here. So you know what our schools are like. You know what our neighborhoods are like. To have something that is so, I think, culturally advanced as this school just adds to the appreciation that I think we will have in our own community, but it also adds to the richness of this city. And I look at each of these kids' faces, and you know, my kids were two and five when I got elected, and they are now 14 and 17. Hmm. And I know, it's scary, isn't it? <laughs> They're both going to high school. She's gonna be a senior and looking at college, and very much involved in band in North Hills, uh, my daughter is. But I look at these kids, and I, and I think it's gonna be an awesome opportunity for you to be able to participate in something like this. Because we try to offer as much as we can as far as parks and rec centers and libraries. We work with our, our schools as much as we can. But there's always elements that you can do better, always elements that you can improve on, and always elements that schools can't necessarily afford, but that the private sector fills in. And I think this is a perfect example of that. And I'm so excited that you will all have an opportunity to participate in this. Because things like culture and arts and music matter. Yes. You know, we are so convinced that it's only about, you know, math and reading and writing. And it's, it's not just that. It's the other things that make you more human, that give you depth, that give you character, that give you passion, that's really important. And what you learn now will carry forward. Will carry forward not, I'm looking at you and you're all in elementary school at that, but will carry forward hopefully for when you go to high school, when you go to junior high, when you, I guess it's called middle school now, when you go to college and what you do after that. And that richness, is something that we will always have a need for, no matter what anybody tells you. It's not always about money that you make or items that you accumulate or the size house that you live in, but it's your ability to be able to communicate with people. It's your ability to be able to understand things that are beyond just you. And this school, I'm so thankful that you have opened this. I can't wait to partner with you and figure out how we can bring it to more schools and more of our kids, and really have this be a beacon, not just in Irving, but in our entire metro place. So it's an honor to be here. I can't wait to hear some of the other performers that we have tonight. And uh, any time that, that, that you need to, you know, a, a, a line into the city or help in, in getting into the schools, I am right here for you. Thank you so, so congratulations much. Congratulations on a fantastic opening. Thank you so much. School. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Woo!